All right, we're recording here. It's chilly day. Hold on. It's snowing outside. It's 7.40 in the morning. And we're gonna make some chili. I got my big old pot here. We got our meat. We got our beans and tomato. We got our veggies that we chopped last night. This is a big pot full of peppers. I mean onions. This is peppers. We're gonna make 40 pounds of chili. We got old Betty out. Got old Betty going. Put in a little bit of oil. Like a lot of oil. Alright. This is old Betty, for those of you who are not familiar. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> little old Betty. The old Betty only comes out when what are the two times we use old Betty, guys? Just just my children and when we're making chili. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Discipline and chili. Alright, let's see if we made any, any of that oil made to the bottom of the pan, huh? Uh, maybe a little bit more. Now we got our pork. Got approximately five pounds of pork. Approximately five pounds of beef. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and fry those up with these spices over here. We got our chili powder, naturally. A little bit of cayenne pepper, pepper, a little paprika, a little cumin powder, all right? And of course we got onion, garlic, and that's just some extra chili powder in case we run out. Um, and salt and pepper, naturally. Yeah. Those are our spices that we're gonna hit our meat with as we cook them. Spices. Let's chop them up. And what we don't want to do is we don't want to allow the meat to turn brown. Alright, we want it like cook, but well, we don't want it to burn. And just to and the beautiful thing about the pork is it cooks really lean, so we don't have a lot of grease to deal with. When we start cooking the beef, we're going to have to drain the meat after we cook it before we can put the meat in the, in the secondary pot. What have you been doing in the meantime? Uh, stirring the chili. You've been stirring the uh, veggies. Veggies. Yeah, it's not chili until you put the meat in it. So, no more pink, and that's good. We don't want any raw pork getting into our chili. Now we're gonna bring it over, drain some of this oil off of it. And we won't get all of it, but we're just gonna wait till the solid stream starts turning into drips. Right. Mm. There it is. And I'll put it in the pot with the rest of it. Ready for the next one. Awesome. We'll just keep repeating this process until we run out of meat to cook. And you really want to try to not let them stick, right? It's going to be tough. You're going to have to multitask. Uh, but you've got to keep stirring these veggies. And already you can see they're starting to steam. And as that water comes off of them, some water is going to boil up and come off and steam. And some water is just going to sit in this pot. But the veggies are going to start reducing. So. Our, our veggie level was here. We're already down two inches as they start to cook and soften. And you want we want to cook these until they're like a nice kind of tender, and the color fades out of them a little bit. They kind of look a little translucent. So uh, our veggies are done. We're about an hour in, a little bit more than an hour in. Our veggies are done. They they uh, reduced really nicely. You can tell they're nice and soft now. Soft veggies. Mm. Mm. 
Now we gotta start adding our tomatoes. Tomatoes first, then beans. Pump that in. This is a big can of whole peeled potatoes. I keep saying potatoes this morning. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. And we gotta like pluck them out of this can and crush them up by hand. We wring out any extra moisture and we bring it over the pot and we bust it up. And you need to do hand crushed tomatoes. Go ahead, pick one up. Okay. Make sure you get it all busted up good, Jack. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. Tim, what if he hurls into your pot of chili? What are you going to do? Uh, well. Disown me. I could disown him. Uh, as you can see, we've added our tomatoes. Kind of mixed them up into here a little bit. And we're getting to that kitchen sink part of the recipe, which I really enjoy, which is the secret to this chili, I'm almost positive. Because we got this recipe from a guy that used to do it tailgating for the Giants, Big Blue Wrecking Crew chili. One of those is a cup of black coffee. So you know he just dropped it in, you know he just dropped it in there. So the other thing we're gonna put in there is some black, uh, black chocolate stout, which I've been aging for two years. You got my face when I'm talking, right? Been aging it for like two years. And we're gonna pour that in. Just a little bit left. Mm. It's good. All right. Can we mix that up. And there. Awesome. All right. Let's do some beans. All right, so uh, we're adding our beans now. If you can look, we got a big old pile of beans in here. We're gonna start with a, huh, that wouldn't be good to leave in the chili. We're gonna start with a uh, with four cans of light and four cans of dark. So I got one can left to open up here. And, because you don't wanna add all the beans at the same time, right? You wanna kinda add beans as you're cooking, because this is gonna be on the stove for about six hours. So we're gonna, sort of add beans in later so that the beans, you know, aren't all like falling apart. Some of them are gonna get mushier, some of them are gonna be a little harder. So, and the other thing we do is we're gonna drain the beans before we put them in. Because right now we got plenty of liquid in that chili. Those veggies are gonna continue to cook down. We just added the uh, tomatoes, okay? And so we, Got plenty of liquid in there. We don't need the liquid from the beans. It's starting to look a little bit more like chili. Now, I, I turned the heat off to this while we were adding everything. I'm going to turn the heat back on right now. Let's see. That's a long. All right, we'll start just simmering. You, you always want to put low heat on. You don't want to have the heat really high because uh, you never want it to stick. You never want your chili to stick. And if it does stick, if you get any burnt spots on the bottom of your pot, and sometimes when you've got a big pot like this, that's gonna happen, you don't scrape it up. Leave the burnt stuff on the bottom, okay? Because if you scrape that up and get all that burnt stuff into the utility, you're gonna, you're gonna change the taste. All right, hop down, I'm gonna show you the chipotles. I'm just gonna go ahead and These are where our heat comes from, our smoky heat for our chili. Now I've been putting in a little bit of cayenne and a little, there's a little bit of chili powder. Okay, We're going to dice these up real fine. And we'll drop these chipotles in. And I'll drop in two cans, two of these right away. This is a chipotle. We'll get there in a minute. I'm gonna drop two of these in and leave one in reserve because we'll taste the heat. And if we need to add a little kick to it, we'll drop that third can in later. Good okay, so you can see it. one can of chipotles. You gotta throw a couple beef bouillon cubes 
in here, so I did uh, five. Um, <clears throat> so, but you can't throw them in whole. You gotta bust them up, which is <laughs> kind of a pain. So I put them in a plastic bag and I hit them with the back end of the cleaver a little bit, and then use the front, the business end of the cleaver, to kind of chop them up. We got pretty much everything added. My, my shoulder's hurting already. <laughs> I'm stirring this big pot, you can see. All right, now, what I'm starting to do now is just, I'm adding a little bit of Gravy Master, because this is my little secret here. Gravy Master gives it that nice chili color, okay, as well as adds a little bit of uh, a little saltiness to it. So you just pour in a little Gravy Master at a time, mix that in until we get that beautiful bronze chili look. It's almost there right now, because the pork is really a light color meat, and it, it lightens the chili up quite a bit. So we put that gravy master in there and adds a little bit of flavor and you get that nice chili color. But we're pretty much done with all the ingredients. This is just going to have to sit on the stove and we're going to have to stir this constantly for the next half a day. And because we got, we're in two hours already. We're in, we're into our cook. We started about 7.45, it's 9.55 right now, so we're two hours in. Our chili is pretty much set, all the ingredients are done. So now it's just sit and stir and stew. And it's not gonna taste right for at least four hours. It's now 2.30 and our chili, go ahead and get a look at it now. Our chili is cooking for a little less than seven hours and it is completely chillified at this point. So, we can put a little bit in the bowl. Look at that. Now that, that's some world class chili right there. So that's the Carpenter Chili 2022. Cut.